Oh. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today marks the third anniversary of my sobriety. I have not touched a drop of alcohol. <laughs> I have not touched a drop of alcohol for 1,095 days. That's over 1.5 million minutes. Anyone who's battled an addictive substance knows what a fight every single one of those minutes can be. According to the World Health Organization, Canadians are drinking almost nine liters of pure alcohol per capita each year. The global average, according to the Globe and Mail, is 6.2 liters. Thanks to the efforts of healthcare practitioners and medical researchers, more and more Canadians are becoming aware of the serious health damage caused by alcohol. It's no easy thing to get this information to Canadians, considering the billions that are spent every year by the alcohol industry, including some boozy receptions right here on Parliament Hill. Mr. Speaker, whenever I speak about alcohol, I'm not pretending to be anyone's moral, moral superior. I'm certainly not telling people what to do and what not to do. Instead, Mr. Speaker, I'm inviting this chamber to consider those who at this very moment are fighting alcohol use disorder. These people are in every walk of life. Many, many of them are what we call high functioning. So not everyone with alcohol use disorder is living on the street. In fact, just yesterday, Mr. Speaker, the Globe and Mail ran a timely piece on the increasing dependence on alcohol in Canadian women. The article describes women professionals who have found their careers in jeopardy due to their hidden disorder. The same article tells us that between 2003 and 2016, the rate of alcohol-related emergency department visits by young women in Ontario went up by an astounding 240 percent. The alcohol-related death rate for women increased by 26 percent compared to 5 percent for men. So this issue affects everyone, either directly or indirectly. The Mental Health Commission of Canada notes that in about one in four suicide deaths in Canada involves alcohol use. Heavy drinking increases the risk of suicide exponentially. Three of, four, three of every four people who commit suicide in Canada are men. In fact, Mr. Speaker, when we look at the alcohol-related suicide statistics for Indigenous people and men in Canada, it can only be properly be called a crisis. This is why we must support those who are battling addiction with everything that we've got. We need to bolster them, we need to encourage them, and we need to offer them kegana. What is kegana? Kegana is Algonquin for hope. We must provide them with culturally appropriate and gender-specific treatment options. So finally, Mr. Speaker, personally, I'm thankful for my 1.5 million minutes of sobriety and thankful to all of those who continue to encourage and support me. Simply said, I was one of the lucky ones. Every Canadian who has substance abuse issues deserves just as much support and encouragement as I am getting. Miigwech.